often a, a camp location is researched weeks, even months in advance through some recce hikes and uh, good map work and, and some questions on people who have been in the previous. But then sometimes when plans change last minute, it's a little bit more of a gamble. I've made the right call to go up a mountain in the hope that there's going to be a, a pitchable place for my tent. As they say, with the risk comes reward. Knowing little about the walk-in, apart from the distance and incline, I was pleasantly surprised with the challenges I was faced. The steep paths dropped away to show flowing waterfalls, scrambles, there was a good degree of exposure in, in sections as well. Little challenges that have just made that a little bit more tricky due to the, the large camping bag, which I must admit was still packed for winter as uh, this area here had snow a few days beforehand so I was still very much packing with the, the thought that there may have been a lot more snow than there was so it was the full winter winter gear with the additional camera kit as well which does, does always make it a little bit harder when you're when you're climbing up um, some of the paths which is why lately I've been picking Cairngorms um, and uh, other mountains that I knew had more of a a smoother path, shall we say. I had initially planned uh, this trip uh, to go into the Highlands, but the weather window was just looking too good to miss, and the time travel was a bit of an issue. So, I decided to head down into the Lake District, in an area that I've been a few times before, but never for a camp, and that is the Buttermere area of the Lake District. Hi, and welcome back for another adventure. Today in the lakes, I was planning on being up on a Munro today um, as a summit camp, but then the weather just had this little change in it and it just looked like the, the lakes was the place to be. Um, unfortunately, the snow they had the last couple of days is it's fallen a lot, as you'll probably see by a lot of the paths I've got coming up. Um, so I don't have much snow to play with, not like I was hoping for anyway, but overall, I think we've been for a much better night coming down here than uh, than staying up top. You know, as I've said in the past, because I live in Moffat, um, I'm pretty close to the lake, so I'm about as close as to get to here as I am getting to Munro um, or some of the kind of highlands. Um, so that being said, I'm going to push on. Um, I'm not going to tell you where I am just yet. We'll we'll save some of the, the names for as we get walking. Um, but as you see, it's just a pretty nice little area. Um, we're at here. You you wouldn't think. Um, we're, we're not in Scotland by the way that it looks originally, you know? Anyway, let's keep walking and we'll reveal more as we go. I'm just over uh, two and a bit K in this walk. It's a 11K loop in total if I decide to do a whole loop. Um, I can't say I'm 100% on that one. But the water I have just inside of me here is Kilmuck water. Um, and we do have a second one a bit further over which we'll see when we get to a higher point. But um, for me now, there's a little path that could go to the right there for me. It would then take you around come at water. All I'm doing is I'm gonna start gaining some height now and getting in to my first, what's called a wane right, first wane right of the day. And it may not be the, it may be the only one of the day, I don't know. Like I say, I'm not here to bag wane rights. I'm here to find a cracking picture tonight. And, uh, Enjoy a midweek camp in the lakes. So let's see what we get. I can honestly say, aye, I jumped out my skin there. Um, <laughs> when, that, when those planes came over, I forgot that's just one of the areas in the lakes where they, um, they do a lot of their low flying testing. So, um, yeah, geez. Um, <sighs> oof. Do you stand open up?
just uh, working my way up this little very tight staircase. Oh, it's winding way up really quite tight. So, obviously, good point about that, because I'm gaining the height really quickly. Oh, got a wee cardio bone on this. Um, I'd imagine on an icy day, you know, you've got a scramble to do with the well. um, okay. Sorry, it's just, there's a few points where it's a little bit of here. And your feet in the rock. After I was done with the um, that, that technical uh, section here, I was sweating buckets, so it was time to get the coat off and uh, give myself a, a bit of a drink. As I mentioned in the intro, um, I, I wasn't expecting it to be quite as um, as technical as that. There was a the few points where I had to um, throw my, my stick up and then and then climb myself over and a couple of balance points. There's a couple of points where I was, I was using a tree as I swung my leg round and then. Um, so yeah, there was a. It wasn't a straightforward walk, let's say, uh, but very enjoyable, um, especially in the, on the kind of weather that you can see he was getting um, on this day. This little cairn marks red pike. It's a little bit blowy here. Um, I'm two minds if I'm going to stay up here or maybe drop down a little bit off the wind. But I don't know, I kind of fight quite fancy the challenge of this one because when the wind's off, it's fine. Um, there's a cracking view as you're going to see in a wee minute. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we might just go with this and then get pitched up for the night. Okay. Let's get pitched and I'll join you back in a minute.
So let me give you a, a quick tour of the campsite. So, down there, it says Crumnick Water. And this is, uh, oh, that's a looking up up in the Solway. Can't quite see the Solway from here. Well, kind of can. And you can see the windmills in the, yeah. And, um, and yeah, so at Red Pike. I'm going to jump in my tent. Well, as I'm jumping in, let me show you my setup for tonight. So I've got the OEX if I am 900 again. And underneath that, I've gone my my usual standard seat summit, E Flight XT. And then I've got a foil blanket underneath that with my pillows. Um, just me and myself tonight. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to get settled in for a bit, get into my, my smalls, get co get cosy, and get a hot drink, get a brew, and watch the uh, sun go down. I've got my nail side, so I've um, just put the jet boil on in here with the, with the door flap and open. Um, it's about 18. It's, I've seen Gus when I checked the, the Skywatch mole. Check it in a wee bit and see what it looks. But when I checked before, it was 18 uh, miles an hour gusts. So not even so often it picks up. It's just too much. If I left it if, uh, in the vestibule, it, it just wouldn't, wouldn't work. A lot of downsides to the, the wee jet boil. But um, I've got some water on. It gives me a chance to get a wee brew. Uh, uh, some lunch as well. Um, I've got a wee time lapse going for the sunset as well. Hopefully it looks all right. I mean, it's a bit clogging over now, and that is the forecast supposed to clog over and potentially be light in the morning. But I don't know. I mean, this was the best of the forecasts, other than me travelling five hours to get to like to like Salopo or Torridon. But I just didn't have that in me this, this two days. So um, yeah, a wee quick trip to the to the lake. So we'll do the job, I think. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Time for a brew. Dave Solo Summer Steer says brew with a view. Sunset just behind me there. Hopefully get a good sunrise in the morning straight ahead. I'll spin you along in a second and show you some of them views. Um, so I've got fully changed. The last couple of camps I haven't done and I've been wondering whether or not that was the right move or not. And Now that I've got changed, I've put my thermals on and I've just put my down bottoms in and big down jacket, I feel actually warmer than I normally do. So I think, I think that is the way I should be doing it. Just taking the hit, getting a couple of minutes where you get completely all your all your your, your hiking gear, and you'll appreciate that gear in the morning as well. Oh, this is it, epic! This all moments or chocolate, whatever it was. Um, yeah. Then with um, with a bit of luck, this does actually stay clear. Get some stars coming out soon as well because it's pretty dark out here. Um, over in this valley here, uh, in bottom here, you know, there's a little village down behind me there. Yeah, well, behind the camera, sorry, um, down there. But we can't see it from here. We can see a couple of lights, and then we can see a couple of little lights shining through, like Keswick's just through the gap there. Um, can't really see it though. Um, yeah. Hopefully this wind drops a bit. Don't know, I don't think it's forecast to drop much though, so um, yeah, it's going to be a fun night. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get my coffee. I'm going to get some pasta meatballs soon as well. And uh, 
Là, le poids de porte, nous c'était causé. Cheers! Pom, pom, pom. Eat balls and pasta. These are one of them bags that you just um, heat up in the water um, and then they're ready to go after a few minutes of, of hot, so that's dinner. Oh, I've been having such a chilled night. Um, Trying to get some stars, but the wind just keeps knocking over my camera, so I don't think we've got any any decent uh, shots. But I've just got the uh, show you my telly set up. It's just my, my tripods in here, watching uh, one of the best podcasts you're going to see. This is football, all that one with Gary Neville and uh, Jimmy Carragher, Roy, Roy Keane and um, Jill Scott, and they've got uh, all the Gunners all shine on this week, so. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and I'll probably find something else. Uh, I normally start going through a couple of YouTubers um, Wednesday night, you know, when we get Scotland's Muttons, he pops up on a Wednesday night, because it is Wednesday night, uh, and then I'll, um, I'll get a couple of others, uh, and then that'll probably be ready for bed. The, um, when I've checked the wind, I just checked it earlier on there, <laughs> it was only giving me three uh, miles an hour gust, but it has been banging before, now it's, it's just nothing. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm all fed as well. Um, been drinking loads of water as well. I've, I've kind of almost ran out of water, um, so I might have to top up on the way down. Um, but we'll see. Um, see how long it takes me to get down. Um, but yeah, um, overall, lovely night. Um, and it is a lot. It's so much nicer to to have my gloves off. It's a lot nicer than it has been um, the last couple of weeks, but it's been a bit cold. Um, yeah, I'm gonna chill out and maybe check in before bed. Yeah, just out having a wee quick check in my guys before I go to bed. I'll wee look at the sky watch and see what it's saying. Temperature's saying 2.4 degrees, but the wind's kind of only coming in little bursts. Um, guy won't seem all right. Um, unfortunately, as you probably see by the, t the head torch, it's not a clear night now. It's a little misty. The tent looks good. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just get back into bed or get back back into the the tent and, and get myself cosy. That was going to be me for the night. God, I've got a wicked um, case of the cramps developing tonight. Um, I had about two litres on me today to bring up. I'd also been drinking a lot in the car as well because I was trying to get enough liquids in the can. Um, based on taking classes last night and gym work and stuff, and I think it's just, it's just kind of caught up a wee bit um, annoyingly. I think today was today's kind of caught me out in terms of it was nicer, and that sounds weird, but it was a lot nicer than I was expecting, so, you know, I, I came prepared with more winter gear on than, than maybe I needed to do. Um, like, it's been actually roasting tonight um, as well in the tent, but um, the walk up, I mean, I was sweating buckets, and I think I've actually, overall, I've just sweated more than I would normally sweat um, in the last, certainly the last few weeks worth of um, hikes. Um, so I have still left a little bit of water that I need for the morning, um, and if I really need, really need to, you know, there's there's snow lying about around there, and there is a couple of waterfalls that I came past, not too far that I can I can get something off. Um, but yeah, he's got these cramps; they're gonna settle down, uh, and then uh, they'll get off. Um, and on that note, yeah, I'm gonna switch off for the night. Um, I wanted to put some star laps up, but just like I said, it, it, it was seen just there. Um, it's just all misty in it. Um, but hopefully the mist um, pulls over in the morning and gives us. Something nice to reveal, who knows. Um, anyway, hope you've been watching uh, the video so far and let's see what we get in the morning. Uh, you'll see it in the next few seconds and, and for me, about um, eight to 10 hours from now. Yeah. Hopefully it's good. Um, forecast is, to be honest, is a bit more of a misty, um, cloudy start to the morning. But you never know, sometimes uh, I've noticed the last few mornings it said that 
but then you get this kind of first hour or so where the sun pops up as, as it's coming up and, and then hits the clouds and it's a really nice sunset, sunrises. So um, fingers crossed that we um, we get one of them. You know, we'll take it as it comes. Anyway, I'm off for sleep. Night guys, thanks for thanks for watching as always. Good morning. Um, there's nothing to show you outside. I am heavy in the clag. I'm not quite sure how how deep that goes, but um, so I'm just gonna get myself a coffee, my wee yes, coffee two and one, and pretty much pack up or get changed um, and, and pack up. Actually, a pretty decent night's sleep again. Um, I slept at five six hours, which is about right for a camp. Um, it was windy overnight, I knew it was, but I had my earplugs in, so I only felt it every so often. And as I've had with this tent, um, it doesn't move. <laughs> it's been brilliant. Um, so yeah, I've got the ventilation open just for a record. You know, because we've got um, a jet boil in here and kind of really risk um, getting the gas poisoning, you know. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Unfortunately, say, um, I missed the opportunity yesterday to... Uh, to get the drone up and that would have been nice to see that because you know the last night looked really nice when we came up but um it is what it is i was a little bit worried about the, the wind as well um to be fair but um yeah go on i'm gonna get this down as and then i'm, I'm thinking the route I'm going, instead of going over high style i'm thinking i'm going down towards dodd which does lend itself i'll get back quicker but it does lend itself to going over um a bit of a kind of scree drop um, it's quite a, quite a steep drop this I had the backpack on I'm a little bit cautious about that so um, it could be quite um, quite interesting and then after that once you get to I think it's Greasdale Tarn maybe um, I'll, I'll look it up um, and then I'm going to go go down um, back, back to the car and hopefully there before the parking wardens uh, get there but I'll, I'll talk about that on the walk right coffee time Ah, you might be able to hear that, but the, that's the wind still going strong. So what I'm doing is just, I'm pretty much packed everything away into my bag. And just having um, any essentials out ready to go. Um, so then all I have to do then is, once I'm out, is, uh, is pack the tent away. And then we can get walking down. Um, I'm trying to pack so I can get as much away from my waistline as possible, because I'm... I feel like I'm going to have to do a bit of a reverse scramble down this, this part down to the um, Dodd um, and then uh, we should be good to go. Right, anyway, next footage you got will probably be um, get the tent away. Yeah? Um, it is a bit blustery as you can probably hear by now, um, so it could be quite a, a fun challenge this. <laughs>
Ah, so I'm all packed up, as you've probably seen, a bit windy. Uh, I just thought I'd look down at the Solway now. Now we can see it a bit more clear. Ah, it looks fantastic. So, like I say, I've got the Solway, we're working down the White Haven down that end. Uh, there we're looking on a coming floor. When the cloud breaks off, we could, we could see the intended route go down to Dodd. What's in the snow up there? That's high style. Um, that was an option for the, uh, for this little route, but like I say, I'm, I'm going to drop straight down. Um, as the wind's kind of on and off, I'm going to sit for a couple of minutes. I think I might do, as if this just gives me a little break. Well, <laughs> I say that, the cloud comes over. But um, if we can just get a little bit of a break, I wouldn't mind getting a drone up and letting you see uh, this area um, all, all around. So yeah, um, I think these are just passing clouds, so let's give it a minute and um, hopefully get a view before, um, before we go. It's going to be quite a steep, steep drop, uh, and then well, I might tag that today. I don't know, but it's the little route that's got to go down there and drop down, and then back to bottom here. Right. Let's get the bag on. Let's go. from and I'd rather get shelter from the wind now so um, I'm gonna go to the, the turn off here and, and just get down so um, it should be a long time back to the car. Uh, first bit of piece of camera for a while. 
Um, let's get a, get a bike of a, of a journey that was. We're still, still a bit to go before we start getting a flatter ground. The view's looking lovely though, as you see. Um, yeah, seeing the car, I can just about see the car from where I'm at now, so I reckon about 15, 20 minutes back to the car. Oh, I am knackered today. Uh, it's going to feel good to get back and get the feet up. Aye, on the path now, brought a key back to the car, I'm not going to lie, absolutely hated that part, I uh, failed my ass a few times, as you'll probably see when I get back to the car, backside soaking, and um, also, slightly bent my, my walking pole, I got stuck in a, a bit of mud and I just couldn't get it out, so, I'm um, going get a new walking pole, because that's, that's a definite for the uh, winter this season. Oh, sorry, once this year turns into different seasons. Obviously, as you know, if you know my channel. One of my favourite tents is my is my white tent, you know, the, the fort class tack tent, and that needs two walking poles. So can't have a bet, bet and walking pole. So uh, yeah. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm finish off back of the car. Cooler this morning though. Blue skies. Just what we want. Oh. I am knackered. This has been harder than a lot of Munro's I've done recently. And I'm not joking. Very technical, very slow as well. You know, a lot of the path. You're kind of two steps and then pause and two steps and pause. Nothing like at the Cairngorms where you have them flat kind of rolling paths out of the way. So, um, just something to think about. Right. Anyway, I'll see you back at the car. Alright, so <laughs> let's wrap this video off here. All I can say is that's one of the hardest walks I've done in a long time. So 10k, so it's not really that far. I mean, I've done a lot further. Like seeing the Cairngorms recently. But just the um, especially in the way back, the relentless the, the decline was you. You're never having a moment where it's where it flattens out. Um, and from what I can gather, all the ones that bottom me up are kind of the same that way. Um, so basically I'm saying is, if you want a challenge, that's a bit of a challenge. Um, oofed, let's get that jacket off. And uh, something to out. So anyway, goodbye for me and Robert. Both of my adventures, we'll see you. Thanks for